Hello, I'm Brooks Edwards, and I want to welcome you to the 2021 Virtual Walk of Remembrance. With the beginning of spring, we start to see the tulips and daffodils breaking through the ground, and every year we celebrate a new beginning. Now, those of you who have been coming to honor our donors for these past eight years know that we have let nothing stop us from holding space, whatever that may look like, for our donor families to remember and honor the men, women, and children who gave the life-saving gifts of donation. So on behalf of Mayo Clinic Rochester, Life Source, the Gift of Life Transplant House, the Lion's Gift of Sight, and our wonderful Rochester community, join us in honoring those heroes who gave their final and most precious gift, the gift of life, sight, and health to others. He was a people connector. He was the organizer who brought his friends and family together frequently, whether it was to fix a tire, repair a light switch, run an errand, or just to have fun. We are Jackie and Steve Rasmussen. We're a family whose connection to organ, tissue, and eye donation came after the loss of our son, Tim. Tim passed away suddenly on Wednesday, April 9th, 2014, at the age of 26, due to an ascending aortic aneurysm. No signs, no warnings, no family history. We weren't prepared for what was to come next. It was when we returned home from the hospital that evening that we learned of Tim's decision to check the box to be an organ donor. We received that call from Life Source. Tim was a tissue donor, which means he could help over 75 people, and he gave the gift of sight to two girls. One of them shares the same birthday as Tim. After his passing, those closest to him wanted to honor him by creating the Tim Rasmussen Foundation, whose mission and purpose are to honor and remember Tim, to gather at least annually while doing something to help others, and to target donor awareness, the importance of organ, eye, and tissue donation. The emotions that patients experience when they are told there's a deceased donor organ available for them. These emotions are complex. There's the excitement and joy of being able to proceed with transplant and, and restore health to these individuals. But they also understand that deceased donors mean that while their family is celebrating transplant, the donor family is grieving a loss. And so it, it's a complex, sort of mixed emotion. We have the privilege of walking with families in their deepest, darkest moments. Families like you, families who make courageous decisions to look beyond your own grief to help others. We also see those who receive those gifts of life who are so grateful for that second chance. It is truly the humanity of this coming together that is so special about donation and transplantation. This year is also very special to kick off the Wall of Heroes at the St. Mary's campus at the Mayo Clinic. This ongoing tribute will be a place to gather, to walk by, to see, to touch, to know that donation and transplantation is so important, and to know the gratitude of those who've had the privilege of caring for those who gave the gift of life. Thank you, Mayo Clinic, for sponsoring this important tribute. It will be a testimony to all of those who very special lives have been saved. On April 30th, it's National Donor Remembrance Day, and it will be honoring donors across the country. Luminaries will be lining 2nd Street from the Gift of Life Transplant House to St. Mary's Hospital. And again, we ask that you join us in honoring those who have given the gift of life. Thank you. Luminaries have been used since the 16th century to guide travelers searching for their way. In that same tradition, at sunset this evening, we will light our luminaries as a reminder of the path forged by those who have selflessly donated 
organs, tissue, or eyes, and of those grateful recipients who have received the gift of life. The luminaries will line 2nd Street from St. Mary's Hospital to Gift of Life Transplant House. And it is our hope that all those who witness the flickering blue and green lights will be inspired. The past year brought some dark times to many who were affected directly and indirectly by the worst pandemic the world has experienced in 100 years. And despite this, 49 lives were saved through organ donation at Mayo Clinic, which is the most ever in our organization during a one year period. Our mission at Mayo Clinic is to inspire hope and promote health through integrated clinical practice, education, and research. Hope is a powerful thing. Archbishop Desmond Tutu once said that hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. Hope and healing were not only brought to the recipients of these life-saving organs, but countless gifts brought sight and restored health to others as well. Some of the most impactful moments for me personally are those days when I have the privilege of meeting donor families. These meetings occur in your darkest hour, and yet you are gracious, you are selfless, and you are courageous. Thank you for being such an inspiration and source of tremendous hope. Every seven minutes, someone receives a cornea transplant, a profound and life-changing experience. Equally important is donation for research, and here at Mayo, more than 4,000 eye tissues have been devoted to ophthalmology research. The need is tremendous, and our partnerships are invaluable to eye banking and the field of ophthalmology. Last year it was a year like no other, and for the first time in generations, people waited for their cornea transplant. As an institution grounded in the thirst for knowledge and medical advancements, it is fitting that Mayo donors contribute so much to finding new treatments and cures for devastating eye diseases. We congratulate you and celebrate with you upon the completion of the remarkable Gift of Life Wall that recognizes all aspects of donation and honors the gifts of renewed life, hope, and healing. Transplantation, as you all know, is a new beginning. Today, I want to highlight the Wall of Remembrance that's recently been completed at St. Mary's Hospital. This wall, placed very near the front entrance of St. Mary's, is to honor and express our gratitude to those who've given the gift of life. Specifically, we appreciate organ donors, blood, tissue donors, and those who've made anatomical donations. These selfless individuals live on through their acts of generosity. The creation of this is meant to honor the legacy of organ, tissue, and eye donors the heroes that chose to give the gift of life. Their lives and their spirit continues on through the lives of donor recipients. As a construction manager at Mayo Clinic, I was grateful to be asked to lend a hand with the installation of this piece of art. It was a proud moment to work with her design team, our contractors, as well as the life source staff to make this a reality. Participating in this small way is humbling and it means that it's healing for me personally and by knowing that organ donor families, as well as living donors, have a place to go and reflect. I have observed families firsthand at the Wall of Honor and share their recognition of the selfless contributions loved ones have provided. This is a space that has great meaning to me and my family, and we're happy to know the space will be a gathering spot for future Walks of Remembrance. While the walk is virtual again this year, it is very heartfelt and meaningful. It allows us time to reflect on the impact Tim's legacy has played in our lives. Time to focus on the good things we can do for others while gathering with friends and family. That is one way we believe his spirit lives on. Well, my message to the uh, donor families is, is clear, and that's that they are lifesavers. You know, we're, we're simply instruments of, of uh, providing uh, resources based on, on the donation that they and their loved ones have facilitated. Um, but uh, it is, it, it's heartwarming to see the joy to restore someone to good health. And it's heartwarming to see the comfort that donor families derive from knowing that some good has come from their donation. 
Holy One of Blessing, giver of all life and beauty, you love us into being. We stand here before you in profound gratitude as we reflect on the myriad gifts that we have received from the abundance of your eternal love. Life, love in fullness. And we remember at this beautiful time of spring, a time of budding, birthing new things, when thoughts turn again to beginnings, to starting fresh, a sleeping world emerges to new possibilities, weakening winter's icy grip. And birdsong and bleeding lamb announce to all the promise that in due season, creation again bursts into life. And while leaves that fell in winter lie upon the ground, soon to feed the earth and nature's wondrous cycle of death and rebirth, we remember that within the tree is a stirring of new growth. Today we celebrate the garden of life, the magnificent symbol of hope, courage, and life transformed through donation and transplantation. And we honor with hearts that overflow with thanksgiving those persons whose incredible courage at a time in their lives when the profound sense of loss and pain with the unexpected death of a loved one enabled them to allow that death to become the seed of new life and hope for another through the gift of organ donation. We pray for each of you that in the magnitude of your giving, may you find all that nourishes and renews your life as you experience the heart-wrenching grief that the death of beloved brings. May your heart be healed in realizing that the element of pain is inherent in all growth and an essential in our search for wholeness. May you know that you and your loved one are forever embraced in the tender arms of our loving God. We bless this sacred space, this wall that honors all who have given the priceless gift of their death, the leaves that fell in winter, to be the promise that in due season, creation again bursts into life, new life, hope reborn in the life of another. Every year, two families are chosen to carry the Donate Life flag from the St. Mary's campus to the Gift of Life Transplant House, representing the donors that have given selfless gifts to save and enhance lives. This year, the families of Gail Paulson and Brandon Gislaine carry the flag. Chris Kopp, Gail's sister, shares this. Gail was a remarkable person. Her smile and contagious joy would light up the room. She taught us to enjoy the simple things in life and gave us love unconditionally. Gail was born with special needs. She moved into a group home when she was 19 and grew independent, living life to the fullest. She enjoyed many friendships, group activities, bowling, attending dances, and spending time with family while playing a game of Uno or watching TV. Chris says she loved to be the winner and was excited to be number one related in so many things. Gail was the first donor of 2021. She was known for her tenderness and empathy for others. She had an infectious love for people. Of all of her treasured gifts, her greatest gift of all was the gift of life to another in need. Gail's mother, Helen Paulson, passed away in 2018 at the age of 90, and she too gave the gift of life by donating her body to Mayo Clinic Whole Body Bequest Program for research and education. Sarah Gislaine shares this about her husband. Brand's favorite saying was, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bran was a person of incredible character and diverse skill. His passion for music started in junior high when he surprised his family with an ability to sing. 
He continued to nurture his talent through community theater and school performances, eventually earning his degree in musical theater. But Bran was not just a performer, but a mathematician, a linguist, a video game speedrunner, a novelist, a gifted teacher, a loving husband, an expert jokesmith, a burgeoning pianist, and lover of learning, period. In fact, he enjoyed picking up new languages in his free time. He developed a method of rapid memorization, received a degree in physics, and eventually admittance to the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine. In his three years at Mayo, he earned the respect of peers and faculty alike. Knowing the loving, supportive, and giving person Bran was at his core, it brings us great joy to know that through him, others may have a better chance at life. May tomorrow ever find you smiling. Brandon Gislaine. Here at Mayo, we have the privilege of performing over 10,000 transplants, and we see the miracle of donation every single day. We're grateful for that miracle and in awe of the many individuals and families that make this possible. There are over 100,000 people today who are waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. Think about that. Moms and dads, brothers and sisters, People like you and me in our community who need and rely on others to say yes to help them out. So I challenge you to do three things this month. First, if you haven't made the decision to register as an organ, eye, and tissue donor, please do so. You can do so the, through the Department of Motor Vehicles or online. Secondly, I would challenge you to have a conversation with at least one individual about why you made that decision and how important it is to consider that choice. And then third, ask them to pass it forward as well and have a conversation with someone else. For indeed, this is the way we help each other. This is the way we help honor those who've given the gift of life. And this is how we give hope to those who are waiting for a second chance at life. My papa had a bad heart. Go. He spent a lot of time in the hospital and I love cheesecake. Go. On May 29th, my papa got a call, he was getting heart. It was the best day ever. Go. I even walked my papa to surgery and I hold his hand. His new heartbeat is beautiful. Everyone should sign up to be an organ donor. <laughs>